we never set out to get a Michelin star. You know, I think it's, it's funny that this place became appreciated by establishments that kind of award normally much more high-end places. The name Contra, I think, kind of just took on a life of its own. I looked up what it meant in Latin and it meant against. I was like, this is kind of like we're in the Contra of fine dining. The name became very things. Like we've always fallen in, in this line of like, you know, we're not fine dining by no means. And I don't like fine dining and I don't think you like fine dining either. But like somehow we've ended up in this like weird spectrum of a restaurant with like high motivations. When we opened 2013, at that time, there wasn't really anything else that we really felt was that affordable in like a prefix taste menu format. At the time in New York, I feel like there's a lot of restaurants that are French, Italian, and we wanted to take a little bit of what we had seen of just highlighting great product very simply. That's what really drove the early days of, of Contra. We have a format that we want to convey. Every dish sort of represents like a little thing amongst like this journey we want to take people into. The vegetable-based menu kind of started as an answer to people who were looking for substitutes to the dishes that we had. We wanted to have a little more freedom with it, so then it's not just for a vegetarian to enjoy. It kind of added like a little bit more versatility to the menu. Right now we're starting off with a set custard. Then it has a soup on top, but it's very bright and it's very clean and simple. And then that goes into something that is a little bit more rich and fatty. We have a potato dish that is a little bit smaller because of how kind of luxurious it is. A bit of sweetness. And then it goes into this white asparagus dish which has a little bit more pungency. It's a pretty simple dish but also there's like when it all comes together there's a lot of different notes to it. We take white asparagus, poach it, dashi for a short amount of time. That gets roasted and basted with an onion stock and that goes on top of the asparagus. Then it gets cured egg yolks, some different flowers and herbs such as mint, chai flowers, arugula flowers, and brassica flowers. A little bit of grated feta and then some breadcrumbs. It just has a few little different textural things. It's a nice mix of flavors and you get something very meaty and interesting, which would normally be something very simple. After that, you're eating a little bit more of a heavier mane, which is a turnip that has been sheeted and brushed with thyme, garlic, and butter, and then basted and roasted and, you know, with mushrooms. So it's like more of an earthy dish. So when it comes to dealing with more vegetal notes, you're looking at playing with earthiness, vibrant green, raw flavors. Instead of having like meaty, you go for things like mushrooms, onions, and garlic, which give a lot of sensation of like umami and sharp flavors. The last savory dish, which is something extremely textural, from that, we just want to take you to something that's very simple, something familiar like strawberries and cream. And we're like, what can we do to make it a little more interesting? And so we do it like a very subtle lavender ice cream, but it just cleanses your palate and it gets you ready for the next dessert. And then the last dessert, we always try to evoke something that is childhood-like. When I think about my childhood, I always think about creamsicles and you know, the blackberry is what a creamsicle would be to me. You know, you have a very acidic frozen component, which is the blackberry, and then you have the creamy component, which is the bitter almond. When we open, you know, we realized that like we're, we're very different people and but because we're friends, we're able to work together and sort of make those two different ways of thinking live in one place. A lot of the places that Fabian has worked is a little bit more maybe ambitious, fine dining. And I've worked places that are a little bit more simple, more rustic in some ways. And so we balance each other out. We like food that's very simple. You know, we like eating fresh and we like eating things that we recognize. 
The difficulty in cooking with very few ingredients is that you can't hide behind anything. You're saying these are the things that we really believe are worth eating together. And I think it's great having that counterpart that it allows you to be more flexible and to have more freedom.